So CATIA V5 IGS settings. Let's take a look. Within CATIA, if you go up to tools, options, and over here with the general tab, compatibility, we're gonna find the IGS at the top. Usually by default, it will be like this. So you'll have to scroll between those in order to find it. Now, these are the default settings over here. We're gonna see the general settings at the top and afterwards we're gonna have the import and export section over here. I will drag and drop an IGS within Katia to see the default settings over here. And as you can see, we're gonna have those uh, elements usually in black over here. So if I will expand this measurement set, for example, if I will select this and I will center the graph, you're going to see that this will be a cylinder. We can do the following. So we can either select everything over here and within the graphic properties, we can change the color. For example, I can make it um, uh, orange over here. And this will allow me to better visualize the measurements. So as you can see over here, mostly we're going to have some axes and some cylinders and some planes. So this will be mostly for um, alignment and fitting. If I will go over here and uh, I will do some changes within the IGS settings, we're going to see over here for the import mode, we can also do a join. So join surfaces of the model. Now, if I will drag and drop the same file, everything will be joined and will be with the default surface color over here. So. Again, this will be much easier to read. And if I will expand the tree over here, for example, I will center the graph on this one. Everything will be joined under, um, under this join over here. So if you are familiar with my recent videos from Jati Shape Design, over here we can start and we can work with either a disassembly. And in this case, we're gonna have a total of 81 cells. Or we can do a split using the domains. So in this case, I will select the domain. I will click OK. And we're going to see that afterwards, for example, this one over here will be a surface. But in this case, everything regarding that cylinder will be added over here within surface 8. So usually it is a good idea to have those joined together, especially if you have access to generative shape, shape design workbench. And over here, using a simple disassembly, you can split those. For example, now I can do a measurement and uh, we're going to see, we're going to have the radius over here. Also the positioning for the center of this, we see on X, Y, and Z. Now, some other changes that can be done for IGS. We have over here the continuity optimization of curves. By default, this is set to automatic optimization. Usually, if you don't have um, any curves and splines, that optimization won't do anything. But if within the um, IGS you will have some splines, those will be smoothed, so similar to the curve smooth. Again, you will find a video regarding this um, within my playlist regarding Katia V5 tips and tricks. I, has, I have a special video regarding curves mode. But usually within measurements, you won't have splines. And um, it depends on the IGS file format. And let's check some additional settings over here. So if I will go to tools options. Afterwards, we're going to have the detection of invalidity in, um, in input geometry. So we can do a detection with a tolerance and um, those geometries that will have various invalidity in input can be detected so that you can later analyze and decide if you're going to keep them or not. And we also have over here the representation for boundary of, of faces. We can keep the file preference in this case or we can do a force 3D representation. That also depends on the data set that you're going to import because mostly if you're going to import just some um, axes and lines then you can do a force 3d representation to generate those but in some cases for example over here we have the surfaces already generated within um, 
power inspect as we can see over here on the on the file and over here on the bottom we're gonna have the export settings you're gonna have the author and also the auto organization nested over here and you can also export units as usually by default is set to millimeters but you can change it to to other dimensions over here and regarding the representation within IGS you can also go with solid shell or you can go with surface and wireframe usually by default IGS is mostly aimed for surfaces and usually if you're gonna go for solid it will be a better idea to go with step file format so not IGS okay so I hope you find this video useful I will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.